Hi, this is Steve York with my uh, Takamini TB10 acoustic electric bass. Like most uh, hollow bodied F hole instruments, it's prone to feedback at higher volume levels. And a uh, classic way to dampen this down is to uh, fill the F holes, the sound holes, in some way. And I've been looking for a easy, neat way to do this. And I have come up with using handlebar uh, foam for bicycles. I'm going to pull this out and show you. Comes out very easily. And there it is the foam for uh, bicycle handlebar grips. Keeps its shape. This came in uh, 14 inch lengths and two of them is enough to uh, make two sets of cutouts for the F holes for this instrument. This is about the size of a cello. I imagine the F holes are about the same size as the cello. A guitar would be smaller obviously in a full-size upright bass larger. I'm going to put this back in just to show how easy it is even with one hand. Yeah, it just goes right in there, fits snug. I've used this a number of times now, had it in and out, and it uh, keeps its shape. As far as eliminating the feedback goes with this particular instrument, I was getting feedback problems with a B up here and a, and a B down here. And uh, then to a lesser extent with a C, a semitone above. And this was quite severe. It would come on pretty early on in that with amplifying this instrument. Putting the foam in this particular instrument has moved that resonant uh, frequency, that wolf tone problem, to the A, the A below that B, and not and not the A an octave below. And also, I can get the instrument to probably a good 50% uh, louder before that A even starts to become a problem feeding back. I started experimenting with this about a month ago and I took it out for a gig for the first time uh, a couple of days ago and had absolutely no feedback issues whatsoever. So uh, there's your $5 solution. It's um, bicycle handlebar foam. Never leave home without it. Thanks.